Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about data objects in VHDL. Data objects in VHDL. So what do you mean by data object? Data object is nothing but it is the place where we where we store the data. That means a data object holds the value of a specified type. Data object data object holds data object holds a value a value of a specified type specified type okay so it is created by means of an object declaration it is created by means of by means of object declaration it is created by means of object declaration suppose for example example variable is a uh, data object so variable variable count count and it is treated as integer here it is taken as integer that means that means here this results in the creation of the data object called count count is nothing but a data object here it is the data object which can hold integer values this particular count can hold integer values because it is clearly mentioned here integer so the object count is also declared to be the variable class this is the class this is the class so integer is nothing but data type integer is nothing but data type hope you understand what is what in written here so variable specifies here it is a class actually such type of classes we have four in our VHDL constants variables signals and files okay we'll explain each and every one um, variables here it is a class count count is nothing but the data object here data object is nothing but this is the object which holds the uh, value in the specified data type that data type is nothing but your integer here integer here okay so there are there are four classes we have there are four classes in data objects there are four classes in data objects so first one constants constant we can write it as constant instead of constants constant it's a class with the name constant and second variable this is what we have taken as an as an example and third one is signal and fourth is file fourth is file so these are the four different variable four different available classes in our VHDL as a data objects. Okay, so let us see one by one. First one, constant. First one, constant. So what do you mean by constant? By seeing the name clearly, we can understand that it is used to hold the data which is constant. That means throughout the operation of the entire VHDL programming, once the simulation is started, that particular value is constant and it can never be changed okay so constant is nothing but an object an object of constant class an object of constant class can hold can hold a single value can hold a single value of a given type of a given type so this value is assigned to the constant before simulation starts and the value cannot be changed and the value cannot be changed so once once the simulation started once the simulation starts the value cannot be changed the value cannot be changed until 
until the simulation ends. Simulation ends. Okay. So this is what constant. The value which is hold by the particular uh, constant is constant, fixed. Okay. Now let us see the representation of the constant. The syntax, syntax and representation here. Uh, example of constant declaration. Example of constant declarations are are so constant constant which is nothing but a class here some rise time or fall time rise time or fall time here rise time or fall time is nothing but your data object rise time or fall time is nothing but your what we are taking here data object okay now this is taken as time this is taken as time time colon equal to colon equal to is the assignment operator for the constants colon equal to is the assignment assignment operator for constants assignment operator for constants that means that value that value is fixed throughout the operation so time is colon equal to 10 nanoseconds or another one another example constant constant some bus width bus width the bus is nothing but it's a wire used to carry the information group of bits colon integer colon equal to 8 integer colon equal to 8 so here this value is integer type and its value is equal to 8 and here time is nothing but a specified predetermined predetermined uh, we can say it's a uh, predefined type in the language it's a predefined predefined type predefined data type we can write we can say predefined data type like integer like integer integer is a data type here hope you understand so time is nothing but a predefined data type whenever you say time automatically it reads the times only in terms of seconds 10 nanoseconds 1 nanosecond like that so when you say integer it takes only integer values okay like a data type now this is the declaration example of the constant now coming to the second one constant is completed coming to the second one variable variable so variable we will see already we have seen variable as an example we have taken so variable is nothing but an object of variable class can also hold a single value of the given type however in this case what is the problem with this what is the advantage of this one different values can be assigned to the variable at different times using a variable assignment statement okay so an object an object of variable class an object of variable class can also hold can also hold can also hold a single value a single value of a given type can also hold a single value of a given type however however in this case However, in this case, different values can be different values can be assigned different values can be assigned to the variables to the variables at different times 
at different times using a variable assignment statement using a variable assignment statements okay so now let us see how the variable declaration is being done so example of variable declarations example of variable declaration so here variable variable it's nothing but a class variable is a type of the class and we are taking some control signal control bit vector bit vector bit vector 10 down to 10 down to 0 bit vector 10 down to 0 this is a simple assignment statement control is nothing but a, it's a signal it is a something like a variable which is having a value anywhere between 0 to 10 that means its value goes down like this 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 that means this value control may be having 10 to 0 like this okay in most of the cases variable is having a different values whenever you are running a for loop or any type of while loops okay so that its value is keep on changing with different values with this particular mentioned vector vector is nothing but it's a sequence of numbers it's a group of numbers okay or we can also like uh, represent it like uh, this is one example another one is a variable variable uh, sum colon integer integer range integer that has a range from 0 to 100 0 to 100 colon equal to 10 0 to 100 colon equal to 10 see here we are taking sum sum is the sum is the name of this we can write it as an identifier so for this sum we are it is represented as a data type of integer and whose value is changing from 0 to 100 0 to 100 so ranging from 0 to 100 and its value is equal to 10 of course its total value is constant but it is having an eternal range like we can write it as sum of 0 sum of 1 sum of 2 up to sum of 100 this is what the meaning of 0 to 100 okay so this is the representation of <coughs> variable and we have we are left with the signal and file these two i will explain in the coming video thank you